right, welcome back to another edition of Barbershop Talk Like This. this. And today in the building, we got my man, my homie, comedian Jamal Dolman. Yeah, what up, yeah, Jamal? Yeah, yeah. What up, Jamal? What up, Jamal? <laughs> what's up? What's up, everybody? Jamal Doman from um from North, uh, from Philly, no, Philly North Side all North day. Side. <clears throat> you, know I mean? you from uh you, you from Richard Island? From Richard Island, yeah. Which which ain't even there no more. Yeah, they didn't tour Richard Island. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened to Richard Island? They tore it down. I mean, they they tore it down and tried to like kind of put up these new homes. It ain't the same, but they needed to tear Richard Island down. Was, oh, oh, Richard Island, Richard Island was, was the like the, yeah, it was the project. It was like the Carter. Ah, yeah, 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 that, that yeah. shit. They man. blew up all our, our high rise uh, projects back in Kansas what was the, too. What was the rap group name from Richard Island? Oh, Ram Squad. Yeah, Ram Squad. Richard Ram Squad. Alamaha. Yeah, shout out Ram Squad. Yeah, yeah they all, <laughs> they all, a lot of them dead. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So, uh, Jamal, like, yes, you know. Sir. You are a comedian. Yes, like, yo, yeah. y'all, y'all see my man on everything. Uh, what's, the, what's the show that you do? Uh, Laugh Tracks, True mm-hmm. TV's Laugh Tracks. That's every Wednesday. True oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bless the, the show with uh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, foremost, Jamal don't drink, so he's gonna I, have a yeah, shot of Yeah, I'm gonna have a shot of Coke or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> I ain't got no, I ain't got no oh, cup. Right, you know what? I got one, bro. Shot of water, shot of water. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all ain't playing around here. Y'all. Yeah. Oh, you got to touch me. Yeah, what man, is that, Trey? You come to barbershop, talk like, like this. this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We make you feel like you in the barbershop. We make you feel like you in the barbershop. Trey, Trey, Trey. Oh, there you go. Right there. You got, no, that's mine, my nigga. You got to touch me, nigga. He has to touch me. He's out of Martell. Out of the Martell. Oh, now they out of Martell. Now they want to drink my tequila. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, listen. I was drinking this shit. what they serve. I was dringing this shit last night when I was editing this fucking video, man. I got fucked up. Man, hold on. Tell me. Let me let y'all know. I went over to his house. We supposed to be working on the show, getting ready for the show. And this nigga over here, low dead. You I hear what I'm saying? Video. I was like, when I edit videos, I like, you know, I like to smoke and drink and get into the video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's what I no, like. Them. No, yeah. listen. People smoke shot. and drink and do that shit. Hold on. T- here, pour your shot there. Is it there? It's out there. There's something in there, man. Ain't nothing in there. You said something in there. You know what's funny? This, this girl I know. Um, this, right, we went out. She don't like her food. She like 38. Salute. She don't like her food to touch. <laughs> I know some my, my uncle yeah. was like that. Salud. 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 Bless the Salud. show. Yes, yes. So, whoo. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Trey's going to try not to say nigga. I mean, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm just not saying it as much. much. So, hey man, so. Man, what's wrong with the word nigga? It, we, okay, on our last show, mm-hmm. we talked about uh, the word nigga. Like, how you feel about it, who can say it, so forth and so on. Okay. Okay, pe- but what it was is, a couple weeks ago, um, we <laughs> shot an episode, and I went home, and this I looked nigga. at the episode. Yeah. And it seemed like literally every other word what out of my saying? mouth was nigga. So, was, okay. so, I said, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love, like, and I said on the last show, I love the word nigga. Like, it's yeah. one of my favorite words to yeah. use. But uh, <laughs> he said this un- type uneducated. of setting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we trying to we trying to you know reach a broader audience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to be able to um, express myself with Other, yeah, without saying without, the yeah, word nigga as much. much. I feel that. I you feel know what that. I'm saying? So that that's all I'm. That that's my focus yeah. point is to try not to say it as much as I said okay. it before. You know what I'm saying? In this setting. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Now, if you see me on the street, I'm gonna say nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga, 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 mm-hmm. nigga, a thousand times. Yeah. But it's all good. So um. Anyway, uh, let, let's get into the show. Let, let, let's jump right into the show. You know, you from Philly. Yeah, yes, Check it sir. out. You are, the Philly is known as to be a fighting town. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. My Except first, me. my first. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fight at all. I press charges. <laughs> I said, nigga, I'm going to call the cops. You hit me, motherfucker. <laughs> so my first topic of discussion is Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're talking about him fighting Conor McGregor. In the oh, UFC, yeah, that ain't happening. Floyd ain't gone. I don't think. I mean, but Floyd said the only okay. way for him to come back it would be in the octagon. Floyd just talk. Floyd just like his name out there in the public eye. People talking about it. Okay, but, let, but let, Floyd, no, let, nobody let, thought let, McGregor let, was going to fight him either. Okay. But McGregor took that money. I mean, McGregor they, 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 they talked about that shit they for two years. They going to fight McGregor. They talked about that shit for two years to build the money up. To build the money up. I mean, now he's starting to tell. They going to build that motherfucking bread up. Now, don't get me wrong. If they come to Floyd, be like, listen, we got $250 million. Floyd to do it. You know what I mean? 
But I, I don't think I don't think Floyd people I don't you know Alan Heyman and uh, he trying to do it for like a like a billion dollars. Yeah, I, I just think a they. Billion. I don't think his a uncle. Billion. I don't think his father, mm. his uncle. Uh, what's the other guy? Uh, his main man, OG dude with the glasses. They, uh, they, uh, they ain't gonna uh, let him do uh, it. Oh boy, man. Uh, you heard him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, you Adrian Bronner diss the shit out of him? They went yeah, Adrian Ford. Yeah, when they was at the ball. press conference, he said Leonard, Leonard Ellaby. He said Leonard, Leonard Ellaby. For the record, yeah. for the record, Adrian Bronner is, is a dickhead. Dick. Yeah, yeah, like Adrian, yo, yeah. if you ever see this podcast, Adrian Bronner, I'm gonna tell you myself, you're a fucking dickhead, and I'm bigger than you, nigga. I fuck you up. He ain't joking, nigga. This nigga. Likes Hold to fight, he'll Hold knock on. you out for the fun here's, of it. Here's the funny thing: about five years ago, Dice was at a party and he was wilding out, you know, getting drunk. Anyway, long story short, Adrian Broner stole Dice. I remember and that. ran off. I Stop remember playing. that. Yeah. What? I remember yeah. that? I for, hey, Dice, I forgot all about that story. Yeah, the nigga hit me and ran and shit, and then I got maced by the fucking cops. <laughs> I was like, you bitch ass. Yo, I, was, I got a question. I got a question. How did that bitch happen? Ass? I got I a was serious question. Shit. Trey, you was there. I wasn't no, there. he wasn't there. Oh, okay. I wasn't okay. There. Okay. I wasn't okay. There. okay. No, listen, you can be honest, babe. I was cheap, not there. Not Kush is lying. Your rest, your, your repart- I didn't. I didn't know if he was there. Or not. That's why I asked. You told the story like he was there. Rosa, I was not accusing him of shit. Um, did you wobble? No, nigga. Like I was mad as shit. Like I, the nigga hit me, and then like when I when he he ran the fuck off, and I started going after him and shit. The cops tried to stop me, and then they fucking ended up macing me because I didn't want to fucking stop. I was like, nigga, yeah, the nigga hit me and fucking ran. Yeah. What did he hit you for? Nigga. Nigga. And, and I was fucked. Up. Why she hit you? Why he hit you, though? What you? What she hit you for? <laughs> <laughs> Why she hit me? Why you hit me? <laughs> hey, what, what, you, what did he hit you for, man? What was yeah, that about? Because it's one of his people's bumped into me or some shit when we was all walking out. I'm drunk. Nice shit. Was drunk. I, like nigga, yeah. I was I was partying with like Kurt Thomas and these. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you like I mean, this. we coming out, we coming out the motherfucking club. One of the niggas bumped me. I was like, yo, chill, son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the nigga was like, nigga was like, what the fuck you talking about? No. I guess because he was with them niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the time next out. thing you know, we out there arguing, we arguing. And I mean, shit started getting real escalated. Yeah. And the time nigga out. Fucking, he, he came and hit me, and then they time all fucking. Out. Time out oh, real shit. quick. Let me what? let me intervene here. Because I know you. So I know it was not like no boom. Hey, what the fuck's up, fam? That nigga dice, he was drunk, that nigga right. Of course. I fuck, mean it was more. Yeah, I was you like, nigga, you... what the fuck you bumping into, nigga? Exactly. <laughs> so tell the story like yeah. it is. Don't tell, don't yeah. leave out the real facts. Yeah, be nigga. Like, tell I'm the just saying, nigga, I ain't gotta story. act so it all it, up. But so here's it. the thing. So around this Floyd Mayweather shit, um, they're supposed to be they said if it goes down, there should be like special rules, like no kicks. Uh, no, that ain't, like, that ain't fair. Yeah, they didn't yeah, do special because rules because in boxing. You might, you might exactly. just be in a, you, you might yeah. be in a boxing ring. Yeah. So That's if you it. right, so if you're gonna jump in the octagon, Floyd, you, you gotta, gotta be able to yeah. take them kicks. I'll you take, know what I'm saying? You gotta take the fight. Shit, you gotta take the arm bar. Hey, billion dollars, nigga. Listen, you can get listen. You can get not. I think Conor McGregor was trying to tap that nigga out. Oh yeah, now Conor will Conor will whip Floyd ass. Just like Floyd. Will whip his ass in the box, nigga. Like that nigga, he he could grab him. Floyd can't run. You know what I mean? So like he he would try to tap on that motherfucking gate. I I think that would be his mission just to tap Floyd out. Like I don't think he would try to knock him out or anything. Yeah, I think that nigga would want that nigga to tap. Yeah, he wants to tap out. Yeah, he definitely wants to tap out. Man, feel that pain till you can't take that pain no more, nigga. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So so uh, Jamal, you from Philly? Yes, sir. Um, Recently, we've had. I love, yeah, some Philly, some Philly, some city. Philly shit. It's, yeah, it's been wildin'. First thing, Meek, Meek home, so now the Philly. Meek is home. Meek is home. Meek is home. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, hey, Bill Cosby, Cosby on his way. <laughs> He's going on his way in. Yeah. Hey, Villanova, it, Villanova won the Villanova, championship. Yeah. The Eagles won the Super Bowl. Yeah, six, and then now the Sixers is looking time good. Out, time out, time out. I need to rewind. If anybody goes back and you look at the footage when Meek Mill got out of jail, Dice Ass is right there in the front row with a fucking free Meek stop. <laughs> me, Fuck me, you, me, nigga. Me, me, now, I mean, listen, listen. I, I, I like Meek. Yeah. I like Meek. No, Mills, you, you know what I'm saying? Me. Now, I mean, the reason why is Meek because, is like, back in the day, dice. back in the day, a lot Meek of people probably family. didn't know. They I probably know. didn't know that I, I rap. Know, know what I mean? So, a lot of my niggas and shit, we used to always go over to Philly to the rap battles. Yeah. Philly used to battle Jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and so and, I, and I saw and I saw Meek back then, with, like doing battle rappers when he was with the nigga yeah. uh, uh, NH. Yeah, I mean, NH. And, and, and his whole crew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, for him to blow up, how he blowing up, and he right over the bridge from yeah. Camden. Yeah, nigga, like I mean, I understand. I feel what he's go through because yeah. I mean, I be in the streets you of Philly. Yeah, I mean, go through. Yeah, nigga. I mean, I feel I feel what he go through. I mean, because because it's, it's, it's some it's some real shit. You know what I mean? It's some real it's some real North Philly, South Philly shit. He from North Philly and. 
South Philly. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And, and like, and my pops, my pops, Nami used to run with his uncle Purnell and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nami, so Nami, so your and daddy be, used to run with Meek Mill's uncle Purnell. Yeah, Nami, I mean? like, like, and, and be, before his dad died, story. you know what I mean? Before get, his listen, dad died, me, yeah. me, come if get you, your cousin. You know what I'm saying? So Nami, like, it go, it goes a little bit deeper than than just me like and me like. It's a lot. No, I'm a, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge, I'm happy that he's home. Meek Mill, if you ever see this podcast. Please come pick this nigga up from North Hollywood <laughs> in the cut bar. Flamers. Shop. Cause this nigga right here. Let me cut is your hair, your nigga. Bring me on, bring me he's on the road. Let me cut your me. shit. <laughs> he, hey, he's a portion of all should, costs. I'll be hearing shit. These the niggas be day, fucking that, that killing me in the barbershop like, yeah, all day. Like, they they I'm, me the weak meat. The, weak meat. I'm like, man, fuck this nigga. I've been through it too. This nigga dice FaceTime me from the Meek Mill concert. He went back for his daughter's birthday. Hold up, wait a minute. This nigga FaceTime me. You nigga jumping up and down. Hey, man. the concert, nigga. That shit was lit. That shit was lit. I wasn't screaming. Like that, nigga. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy. I think that nigga threw his boxes up on the stage. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy home, man. I'm, you know, it was some bullshit. He was under some bullshit. And we, I think, yeah. black men, we know, you know, that judge was tripping. And, and yeah. now it's like black woman. Black woman. Oh, yeah. So, so what is it? I heard. I heard. Well, I don't know if you could talk on this because I know that's your man's and all, but I heard the nigga Charlie Mack sweet talk the judge and told it's, the it's, judge. It's been rumors. I, that's none of that been confirmed. I can't speak on it. All I know that, you know, um, Charlie used to manage me and still got love for me. Still got love for me. Right. Obviously, there was some issues going on there. Um, I've known what Meek said. I mean, I've heard Charlie side of the story. Um I just know that judge is a motherfucker. In the now that's coming out, the original arrest the that got him was, corrupt. was cop was dirty. Yeah, so now yeah, they about to drop. Exactly. They about to drop the that's whole why case. The prosecution backed off yeah. the charges is because the, the cop that arrested yeah. him was dirty. Yeah, yeah. so they drop, corrupt. They dropping all his cases. Listen, it be funny. Shit. All of as them. niggas. So 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 as, he's free as, like fly like well, that. No, no probation. No, not yet. No it, but it's hit it that way. You know, you know that judge is a different style, and she got a serious vendetta for this kid because. The prosecution asked her to remove herself. Exactly. And the Supreme Court of the state asked her to yeah, remove okay. herself. And yeah. she okay, real them, quick. That's like everybody you, leaving Trump. I'm yeah. not. Real, like, real I'm quick, good. Real, I'm real, good. real quick, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I am on the side of Meek Mills, just so y'all know. But as niggas, I'm we, glad do, he said that on, shit. we do shit, <laughs> and then we look for ways to get out of shit. I agree. Meek should not have been other, riding the bike or fighting niggas <laughs> in the airport. I mean, niggas, he's riding the bike. You should not be fighting niggas in the airport. or. I mean, yeah, that's on the list. I mean, but don't listen, say shit about the ride a dirt bike, listen, nigga. Like listen, everybody listen, rides listen, dirt bike. But everybody, no, everybody don't ride dirt. Everybody I mean, in, know in Philly, when you get probation, when you on the probation, you gotta be careful. Listen, you gotta be listen, careful. Gotta be you careful. can't get a traffic stop. Yeah, yeah. You can't no, have interaction with police. Well, period. The they nigga, can't stop you. Well, the nigga, the nigga was not supposed to leave the state, and he was on, he was at the fucking award show on camera. Like nigga, like don't do that. So he was testing a little bit. Probably why she going at him so tough, but still, it's unjust. That's how she treating that yeah, young yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's uh, I know some people who know her. They said uh, even family members. They said she a motherfucker. They she said a she a absolute motherfucker. They said, I know people. Corrupts, I know people absolutely. who who on probation under her. Like uh-huh. they, they, she, they judge too. And they said that. For the record, I where hate, was he at? Was he in CFCF the whole time? system. Um, no, he was like in, a, in Ben Salem somewhere. In Ben Salem. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you know. So um, also going down in Philly right now. Uh, recently, you had the uh, the Starbucks arrest. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. With, with, the, with the young that was, boys, that was and some shit. bullshit. Like, like yeah. I mean, that was some bullshit. And I love the way I, I, you got to give it to them young men the way they handled themselves. Real calm and peaceful. Like. Yeah, yo, those cops is dirty out yeah. there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it wasn't. I don't. You know what, Dice? I don't too much blame the cops because the cops got called. I mean, yeah, yeah, when yeah. cops come there, their job is not to negotiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got called. The people yeah, get said they out. want you to leave. We got to, you know, you have go. to leave. It's not, you know. I think a lot of black people think, oh, when the cops get there, I'm going to explain my story. And then the cops be like, you know what? We kind of feel what you say. No, you know what? Stay here. No, yeah, that's, that's not. That's not how to happen. That's never going to happen. It's, if somebody, but, if the establishment calls the cops and tell you, to, you it's really their property. But here's, no yeah. matter, even if you're in the, right. Yeah, if, you still got to leave. They want you to go. Here's the fucked up part. If the establishment calls the cops. And the uh, so-called suspects yeah. are white people. Mm-hmm. Do we get the same reaction? Well, they still got to go. 
When the cops get there, they got to tell them to go. Them? No, I don't think it. I don't. Well, I know I don't think they arrested. I think they arrested the know. brothers because the brothers refused to leave. But the brothers, they they played that right. They gonna get it. They gonna they got a nice little lawsuit. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that to I don't. I, they they they, they, they make it, they made bucks. Starbucks. Yeah. They they about to shut down nine thousand yeah. fucking stores yeah. so, to reteach them how to fuck. And, and I and I say all that. I, to, I say all that. <laughs> the way they handled it. But did y'all see the Waffle House girl? Yeah. Oh, the way man. she handled it. I got in, I got people. That was some bullshit. I, I was on Twitter. People got mad at me because I because I because the Waffle House situation. I said, listen. I said I put up a post. I said, uh, my people, listen. If if you're somewhere in establishment and some dispute happens and the establishment tells you you have to leave or call the cops and who say, even if you in the correct, you have to leave. It's their establishment, yeah. but it's it's options that you can take. You can you can find out who the manager. You can you can sue them. You can yeah. you, you know it's other options. Like I'm gonna talk to the Part instead of leaving. end up wrestling with the cops on a dirty Waffle House floor. I That's agree. what I said when I put that out. People were like, "How dare you?" And no, I'm I'm not. I'm not. It's some fucked up shit. But you and I I, I jeopardized uh, just opposed that with the, with the Starbucks incident. How them brothers handled that? They wasn't on the floor tussling with the cops. Yeah, they got them. You know. Out. And this sister, and you know, she on the floor. It's ways because, from what I understand, and you never know the whole story. I heard she got into you a think dispute. A Waffle House is good as fuck at four a.m. Yeah, she, she got into a dispute. And she asked them for the for the head number or something. They refused to give her a number. This is her, but I'm like, you can't yeah, Google the number. Look at corporate's number. Like, so she refused yeah. to leave. But you can Google the corporate number and the refusal but, you know, to leave is, is more but of the if I, And listen. But if I'm a consumer in your establishment, and for whatever reason I have a complaint against you, right. and I ask for the corporate number, you are supposed to give yeah, it to me. Yeah, you're supposed to give it to them. But yeah. you, so if if you do your job, they, they don't want. But they don't lose their job. No police, A-train. Got, no, That's why no they police got to show up. A-train. But you know what? They ass is scared, A-train. so they don't want to give up the information. So now it turns it. But now, it's easy to get the information. Regardless, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Here's my thing. Regardless. If I'm in an establishment, regardless to whatever pops off, and I ask you for whatever corporate information I need, it is your manager's job on duty to go and retrieve that information for me. Right. So now if you do that, if you do your fucking job right. like you're supposed to, then we can avoid a whole bunch of other shit. Right. But now that you don't give it to me, now I got to raise my voice. Mm-hmm. Now I got to be loud. Now I got to be ignorant. Now the police got to be called, and yeah. now they got to come out and fucking... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Disrespect her, throw her doll down on the ground like that's some bullshit. Right, yeah, right. Regardless to whatever, first, all you, know. you got to do is give up the number. Yeah. You can. All what I what, what, was what it number. is is that you know that you in the wrong for whatever it is. I guess. So and you don't want to lose your job. So now you're right. So now I'm not gonna give you corporate number, but that's not your responsibility. Right, right. Your responsibility is it's to give, give up the information number. that the consumer. This we are the people who buy your products. We are the people who keep right. you in business. So if I ask for this information, it is your job. As the manager to say, here, ma'am, take this information and let her go on about her right, way. Right, right, right. And right. therefore, you don't have to have all this other extra Right, right, shit. right, yeah. So, so I, why yeah. is it that we have to stay in place, boss? But no, I, I know. Got I, hear, I, hear, I, hear, I got a funny listen, story. Listen, I agree with everything. Go ahead. I'm I got sorry. a funny story. This is, And it's funny because it, it was a cop that was mad at the Waffle House attendant. Mm-hmm. Right, I was sitting at Waffle House right. last October. Me and my boy, oh, we sitting in Waffle House, and a cop walks in, and he comes up, and he must have called in mm-hmm. to order some food. Right, whoever mm-hmm. the one, it was, it was actually a flamer, and that, yeah. this is in Atlanta, mm-hmm. so you know, what I'm saying? a little Risky. flaming little mm-hmm. dude that took his order on the phone. The dude must have had an attitude, right, and hung up in his face. Oh shit! When the cop got up there. Him and the attendant got into it. Oh, the cop shit. cussing this dude out, and I want your manager sh- and all this. Yeah. And the, the dude did the same thing to the cop. I ain't telling you my manager. I ain't, I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? And right, we right. sitting there laughing mm. with the cop like, yeah, I'm going to see you again. And <laughs> bounce. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. Yeah. But they like that with everybody. Like, it's, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that can happen to anybody. Yeah. Legitimately. If, mm-hmm. if you behind the counter, you know what I'm saying, and your manager ain't right there to check you, They'll do that to anybody. Right. It wasn't. It's not. I don't think it's ever reserved to just us. I mean, Although the cop was I mean, black and yeah, the dude, yeah. Yeah. It, feels, it feels like we in an era right now <laughs> where we need customer service. No, dirty, not, no, not even cops. that. We need the police. We need to have some police for the police. Yeah. So whenever the police show up doing you dirty, like we We're need to have a, what, what they have uh, internal internal affairs. Yeah. Yeah. We need to have an internal well, you know affairs nine one one call. But you guys call. know how to stop cops when they're acting dirty in front of you. Ask for you can ask a cop. To call his active sergeant on duty, and he Nigga, has to do that. If yeah. your ass is getting choked out like Eric Garner, yeah. what you gonna be like? Call your yeah. Before it gets 
to that, crazy. before it gets to that, before it gets to that, you can have them call their sergeant but when from the here, moment here's they the stop thing. you. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, these people are like, no, because in their mind, they have a, a, a form of power. See, my thing is that they, they are too lenient on who they allow to become police yeah. officers. Like, I honestly feel like there needs to be a change. Like, in almost every field nowadays, you almost got to have a college degree, except law enforcement. Yeah. How is it that you don't have to go? They're taking dumbass and, and motherfuckers that, that, and putting nigga, them on All the you got to do is graduate high school. Yeah. yeah. How First is of it all, that you, now, man, how is and it most that of them cops, they was being, being bullied. Police they was being bullied. Yeah. 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 They was the they ones getting their lunch money taken high get back. school. Yeah. I understand they, all of these, these, um, their guidelines for back in the day when things were different. But now, when you have a whole different um, need that drink. Situate what? Hmm? What drink? Nigga, this is a tequila. I don't know where. Uh, anyway, come on, man. <laughs> it, it, this is why I get mad at this nigga, I man, because he always <laughs> interrupts me on some stupid shit. I'm trying to make a real fucking point. Don't give me the drink. This is why it's niggas like this that the cops fucking beat their ass because they want a goddamn drink in the middle of a hey, fucking. Hey, I just point. want to point out that you said that you weren't gonna say nigga. Nah, he said he was gonna say nigga. So. <laughs> but I also stress that there's times where I need you just, to use I the know, word nigga. I, know. I was just so, pointing it out. I was just pointing it out. I, I don't even remember my fucking training. Th- no, you was know. just talking about the, no, the, the cops. Um, they need they more need strict, strict yes. regulations they, they on how they become. Regulations. That's one as, thing Colin Kaepernick said. He said a hairdresser gets more training than a cop. And the other, another thing. Bro, another to thing become is, a barber, I had to be in, 1, I had to be in school 1,500 hours. Another, you know what I'm saying? Cops train for like three and a half I don't know. This it shit is short. Another as fuck. thing that I think that should be important about policing in all communities is people from those communities need to be policing the communities. So rather uh, yeah, than yeah. get so rather than Joey from Thousand Oaks who grew up thinking that Compton was scary yeah. and now he's and, dropped yeah, off in Compton, Compton as a policeman, do yeah. he don't Shouldn't need to be, be there. there. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Raheem from around the corner yeah. that grew up in Compton, know Compton. that know Compton yeah. and right. that know who live on this block he's, and know that yeah. this nigga's a crackhead and just be and showing maybe, out and I don't got to shoot him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I should maybe, just go get his mama. Maybe not yeah. He needs to be policing yeah. in that because, area. Because That's how that works. So you should have to come from the environment that you are policing right? because you have a certain Understanding, understanding. Yeah. we have a better the understanding of the demographic that is there. Well, well, at least, but, but, but at least partner that, up with somebody. Yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah, know the community, up, yeah. your partner can be from that, the community. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. that. I Listen. don't even think that they should have people from outside. Some of, of that the shit don't work. Ever. Yo, yo, so, yo it, nah, nah, nah. It don't work, bro. It don't work because I mean, like where I'm from in Camden, right? A lot of a lot of cops that was out there, they was from Camden. So so therefore, they didn't want to lock their friends up. I mean, they didn't want to run down on them because they knew that they probably knew where they lived at. They knew where their family was at, right. you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. I even seen some cops buying weed off of niggas who they fucking knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, like, I mean, that's going like, like, Cops kinda, are real niggas so, too. So, so, yeah, but the thing is, like, if you, if you, if you scared, so, if you scared to do something about what's going on in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, then, uh, be, then niggas is going to come and run down on you. My bad, you. I mean, my bad. I understand you wanted it. to stop the weed dealers in Camden? No, I didn't, nigga, I didn't. Okay, so why you mad at the cops getting trees too then, dog? No, 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 I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying is if too many cops is from that area, they're going to be scared to lock motherfuckers up because, not me, because other precautions could happen. You know what I mean? But if they do partner up with somebody who isn't from there, you know what I'm saying? It's a balance. It it could, yeah, definitely. It's definitely a balance. balance. It could work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and the cops just got to be fucking, just do their fucking jobs the right way that they supposed to fucking do. I I hate the police. I'm not, and it's funny. I don't have nothing wrong with it. My daughter's trying to be, be a detective. Oh, that's cool. I, I, that's cool. I hate the police. I'm not gonna. Well, lie black women are naturally detectives, it, anyway. So right. I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> your daughter's been through her boyfriend's phone. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, phone nigga. Phone. Anytime I need to know something about an iPhone, I call her, yeah. and she gives me all Look, the rundown on all the secrets. Nigga. The thing I hate about the police is that you are supposed to protect, protect, and uphold the law. However, it's too many of them that feel like they are above the law. For example, yeah, that's true. Years ago, I was uh, I was in construction. I did a I was doing this some work got, on this dude's this house. Had 80 I don't jobs. give a fuck. Shut up. Anyway, I was doing some work on this dude's house. And he was job, man. and he was a, a a sheriff. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I remember uh, a couple of different instances happened with this guy. Um, once I'm there, I'm working on the house. His girlfriend comes over. They get into a heated argument. She storms out. She walks past me. She's mad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? About 10 minutes later, this nigga come out in his police uniform. You know, I'm like, you good? He's like, yeah, you know. 
Just about to go bust some heads now. Dang. Oh, shit. Excuse me? Exactly. The nigga, the nigga left mad, so yeah. now he want to go bust some fucking heads. Yeah. Right, exactly. That was, you know, and he a black dude. Yeah. Just so y'all know. So he ain't, he he ain't a white boy. A he's, a, he's, he's a black dude. The same yeah. way we don't know. Another time, okay, um, because how I met this dude was a friend of mine was his friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The dude I was working with was his friend. So we all went out to... Uh, a restaurant. I ain't gonna say the name. We had some drinks or whatever. We leave in the restaurant. This nigga's fucked up. This nigga's trashed, bro. Like he should not be on the road. My nigga said, "You want me to drop you off?" He said, "Nah, I'm good." Who the fuck is gonna stop me? Oh wow! Because <laughs> he know. Yeah, he already yeah. know. It's perks you know of the job. Yeah. So Man. that's the shit that pisses me off. Is that they feel. That's Just crazy, because you protect and uphold the law that you are above When I the first law. moved out here, when I first moved out here, me and my homeboys went to the room on Kawanga. Mm-hmm. Right? This I is my first that. week out here, right? So my boy Mark, shout out to my boy Mark. Mark locks his keys. Actually, no, Thomas locks his keys in his truck, right? So we all standing around the truck figuring how we going to get into the truck. Nigga, Thomas like, fuck it, I'm going to have to break the window to get in. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So what he does is right when we thinking about doing that, a cop pulls up behind us. Yeah. Two cops pull yeah. up, right? So uh, they pull up and and they get out, obviously. We like, yo, this his car. You know what I'm saying? Here go his ID. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can run the plate, see who's registered to, mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. Do y'all carry Slim Jims? Because there go his keys right there. We don't want to have to break the window. And the cops like, nah, we don't carry Slim Jims. We looking like, nah, that's bullshit. I know y'all got Slim Jims. Yeah. But okay, cool. Can we use your nightstick? Because we going to just go ahead and bust the window out and yeah. go to the junkyard and get an- uh, another window. Nah, nightsticks are only used for breaking skin. What? Ooh, what? Oh, wow. white cops or black cops? Essays. Oh, Mexicans. Essays. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Can't call them essays. Yeah, that's racist. That's, on, racist. Come on, that's racist. My wife is Mexican, bro. You can't do that. <laughs> my son my is half is, Mexican. So are my kids. So yeah. <laughs> so you can't you, you know can't saying? be racist against Mexicans. I wasn't being racist. I wasn't being racist at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're not. Yeah, it's, like, like, I didn't cop, say cops is dirty, man. Like, like, like yo, I got locked up in the Mexican district, or they was one of the district over in North. Oh, nigga, coming from I was coming from a Fort and Allegheny. You know what I'm saying? And and we pulling up. We me and my boys, we come. We going back to Jersey. We went and cop some weed and shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And um, my man got a quarter pound. I got some bags. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and my yeah. other boy, he picked up some picked up some coke or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Intent. You know what I mean? So yeah, they yeah. so like they pulled us over and shit. Intent. I didn't have shit on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They found a QP in the back, and and and, and the dude in the back seat, he had some coke on him and shit. Yeah. And they just found the bags on me. I don't know why. He you know what I mean? The coke. They was like they they was like who we did? I said nigga, I don't know. I said I just got bags. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know what I mean? So so make a long story short, yeah. they basically know what I mean they basically put. Everybody shit on me. They put the weed on me, and they put the nigga coke that he took from him on me too. Oh shit! Now I was like, nigga, I said, yo, that ain't my shit. So I go, I, they take me down there. I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling, like, yo, that ain't my shit. That ain't my shit. I keep telling them that shit. The motherfucking cops like, you better shut the fuck up. I said, yo, that ain't my shit. Bam, mm-hmm. punch it right in my fucking face, nigga. Oh shit! Right in my shit. That's you know really, what I mean? So nigga, I, 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 I was like, I was like, let me shut the fuck up. That yeah. night, when I'm in there, I'm locked up. Know what I mean, they um, because they had to take us to the roundhouse. Yeah, well, know what I mean, in in, in in the morning. So the we had to, I, so I had to stay in the 25th district. And that night, I heard them bring somebody in there. They was fucking this dude up yeah. so fucking yeah. bad that they had to take him to the hospital. Nigga, yeah. we came out to go to the roundhouse to get in the van. Yeah. We seen nothing but blood on the yeah, motherfucking going on, on the ground. Crazy. Yo, they I fucked him up story. bad yeah. as shit. Listen, I got hold another hold on, hold on, story. I was just gonna say, listen, niggas who keep doing bad shit, you gotta stop. Expecting a different result, like like y- y'all was doing fucked up shit. Okay, but that don't give the cops the right, yeah, the right to fuck to, somebody up. Yeah, because the white boy that shot up, white boy killed, killed time, seven time, motherfuckers and they real, took real, him to Burger King. Yeah, yeah. on the we way ain't to talking about the white boy. We, we, See, okay. here's the no, thing: we, we black, talking folks, about black folks, folks always want to talk. Let's talk about dirty cops. Understand? But let me say something: black people always want to say the white boy, the white boy. But the cops, we talking about just let nigga let me finish. We don't live ass. under the same rules as white boys. Y'all gotta okay, understand see, that, and we gotta we know that. So stop. Number one, stop comparing yourself to white boys because it's never gonna I be. A, there's never gonna be a comparison. Just for, just for. I didn't say that. that. Only thing I work. said is cops okay, is dirty. But this is what I'm saying. But guess what? If you wasn't over there buying bags or buying weed and buying coke, y'all wouldn't have been in this spot for the police to fucking jack y'all up. 
I mean, that, that's, that's besides the fucking it's point, bro. It's not like, besides like, the point. Still dirty. Time out, time out. I mean, yeah, yeah, I hear time that. Time time I hear you, right, but listen, listen, it's still dirty, It's not man. besides the point. I understand. Listen, I no, it does not say it gives them a right to justfully fuck us up for no apparent reason. However, if we stop putting ourselves in these motherfucking positions to give these My niggas, boy, right. time out, to give these niggas the chance and the uh, the chance to fuck you up that's what, and yeah, get yeah. you fucked that up. That was my that's point what, about that's the Waffle House That's where we have to girl. start taking I mean, responsibility it's, 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 for right. our sale. Trey, that was my point about the Waffle shit. House girl. I got, a like, yeah. I got a question. Go ahead. Okay. I used to ride the dash around North Hollywood to the other side of uh, uh, Van Nuys to go to work. So I rode the dash back over to North Hollywood, actually over to Studio City over there off of uh, Moore Park and Riverside. And I'm walking back. This one I had the apartment on Backman up the street from the barbershop. I got it. Okay, so I'm walking back, and I'm walking through a neighborhood. I'm on the phone with my homeboy, Mike, light-skinned Mike, yo boy. Okay, so we're on the phone. I'm talking. A cop drives by, drives by me, sees me, makes a U-turn, comes back. Cop gonna walk, drive up to me and ask me, can I talk to you? Mm, right? I said, I'm, I said, and I say... Am I be? Am I under suspicion for a crime? Is there anything going on that I need to know that's going on? Cop says, "No, I just want to talk to you." I said, "I'm on the phone. I don't really want to talk." And I keep walking. Mm-hmm. Right? Dude, gone slowly trail me mm. all the way from <laughs> listen from from Laurel Canyon to Colfax. I make the left on Colfax. Now I'm walking to Colfax and Riverside. Y'all know on Riverside yeah, and Colfax, yeah, yeah. it's a liquor store right there. He on the other side of the street following. Right? I'm walking up to that. I make the left, go in the liquor store, buy a blunt, come out. When I get out and I'm walking down the street now towards Tahunga, there's a helicopter oh, in there. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Right? There's a helicopter. So I'm like, it got to be an accident on but, the 101. But, real quick, you don't sell drugs, nor were you buying drugs. So if that cop did anything incorrect, then yes, they are in the wrong. The bird in the air wasn't incorrect? That, that's what I say. If the cop did whatever they did that's incorrect, yes, they're in the wrong because you're not doing any criminal but what activity. I'm saying, what I'm saying is but whether this or not nigga you're in the, the wrong or not, they're going to mess with but you. But what I'm saying is this nigga at the time, what his story was, <laughs> him and his to... crew, they were doing <laughs> criminal activity. <laughs> so when you get yeah, yourself in a situation nigga, intent, and you, man, what, what I'm saying is... Y'all, y'all, y'all crazy. Now, the only thing I was I, saying... Nigga, I've been there before. I know what you're talking about. I've also been I want to know how the story ended. So the bird goes up in the air, I walk down, and I'm the street before the bridge right there yeah. on uh, Tahunga. I know, it, it, I know okay, exactly. So I'm right there before the bridge, right? I know the bird is following me because the nigga's following me. Yeah. So I turn around, throw my hands up in there, and I'm like, nigga, like, whatever is going to be, like, stop yeah, yeah, me yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Four cop cars come from the other direction from underneath the bridge. I don't know where the hell them niggas came right. from. They was right? waiting. So listen, so he, you know, they all pulled up. That guy gets out, he walks up to me. I got my book bag. You know, I always got my bag on with my laptop. Same routine that you've known me for. Okay, so he uh uh he starts going through my bag, whatever, whatever. Where are you going? I'm walking home from work. Uh, why ain't you stop when I asked you to talk to Motherfucker, me? Motherfucker, it's a free country. And that's what I said. I asked you if it was if I was under suspicion, if there was anything going on that I needed to be aware of. You said no. I was on my phone. Why I gotta end my conversation to have a conversation with you, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, they find my little bit of trees. We're in California, no issue. He sees my laptop. He says, um, "Open the laptop." He said, "How do I know this is yours?" And he made me put my password what? in to prove that my laptop was mine. This is how bad they fucking with me. Then, so I say, "What is the actual issue?" Now, mind you, there's like five cops standing around me. This nigga going to tell me I fit the description of a six foot one. Oh, my God. And at that point, four. Trey, you know the face that I made. Oh my God. I look at the black cop. Listen, I look at the black cop and I say to the black cop, nigga, I fit the description of a six foot one. Anybody? I don't care if I stretch to the height of stretch divity on my <laughs> longest stretched out day. I'm not five eight. <laughs> How the fuck do I look 6'1"? I fit the description of a black dude that was 6'1", that was wearing a suit, that was knocking on people's doors, saying he was selling magazines, right? And then robbing them. He had a, suit on? Had, he had a, a suit book, on? He had a book bag on. Exactly. Trey, when have you ever seen me in a I'm, suit? Uh, for the people. I'm asking for the people. Oh I know Kush. Trey, suits. when have you ever seen me in a suit? Except for in pictures. I don't even think that nigga owns a suit. <laughs> I do. I do. Now, I, I mean, do. To, to, now, I mean to, to conclude all that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, cops are just fucking dirty. You know what I mean? 
Fuck no, I mean, the they, they, they got to they gotta get, it's, you know. It's a catch-22 because you hate them, gotta, but if they were to go away, go back to, you um, wish they were there. You need to go back, go back <laughs> and we want to be clear that we don't think not all cops are dirty. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's, Officer Mangini, yeah, it's, when I was in seventh grade, there was a cop named Officer Mangini, and that dude looked out for every kid at our school. He yeah, was a good yeah, dude. Yeah, I know real, 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 real quick, um, predictions on, um, on uh, the playoffs. Sixers. Um, uh, that Golden State, Houston, the winner of that, I think is going to win the championship. But Sixers, I do play think Sixers whoever. coming out the East. There you go. I think Sixers That's definitely a Philly coming out the East. Right yeah. and, and I mean, like, don't look at I, us I think, that I think it's right. a year for Philly, and I think Philly could actually they could, they could possibly. Why are you sucking Philly's dick? It's, it's now, a year. Guys. You you. He's huh. from. I, 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 I understand good. that, and that's what I've been I'm a telling Knicks him fan. for years. I'm a Knicks fan. You know what I mean? Always been against Philly teams. They look good. This nigga has been against Philly teams as far as I've known. They look good. Time out. Time out. He's a Knicks fan. He gotta choose something that's gonna win. I mean, them niggas look. And he's a bad. Yeah. And he's a Bears against, fan too. This nigga, had, this nigga has he been against win every street. Philly team since I've known him. That's true. Now all of a sudden they're doing well. Shout out to the Sixers. Shout out to the Eagles. This nigga sucking Philly. No, no, dick no, right no, now. no, I'm not. No, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy for my people. No, I mean that they fucking won. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that ain't never going to change who my team is. No, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for these yeah, niggas. You Bears. You Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing the trash? How the Bears? We did real. Good. Got we got a, we got a center. We got an outside linebacker, inside linebacker, okay. and, and a receiver. They still ain't gonna be. Shit. We're going to playoffs. Early, hold on, early, we talking about something. I'm talking about something completely different. They said, who the Bears? I said, nigga, no. <laughs> the only person that cares about the Bears is your ass, nigga. Stop talking to me about the goddamn Bears. We're going to fuck around and get Julio Jones. <laughs> now, who you He's got? Who leaving. you got? Who you not, got? What? What? And then playoffs? Yeah. You know what I'm riding with? Sixers, Sixers, Sixers to the finals. Golden State in the finals. Golden State going to beat the brakes off the Sixers because they ain't ready. Yeah, is, yeah. But we got? coming what back we next year. Yeah. Come on. LeBron in the finals. I don't care what y'all talking about. Listen. I don't think LeBron comes out to LeBron. Hey, guess he said, what? He didn't say I Cleveland. He said LeBron. Listen. LeBron. Hey, right. He didn't even say Cleveland. He didn't say the Cavs. You, you said know LeBron. Why? LeBron you know going by himself. I'm t- exactly. You know why? Because yeah, them LeBron niggas is bitches. So if they lose, it's not because it's of him. LeBron. LeBron is headed to the finals. If them niggas get on his back and ride with him, they going to go to the finals. Other than that, them motherfuckers is weak. So unless it is proven LeBron has been my nigga from day one, mm. no and matter so what jersey listen, he wears, no matter, I'll listen, to that. No matter he how hard LeBron. it looks, he's all he's proven it to me time and time and time and time and time again that it's, he's gonna yeah. go to the finals. It's so gonna be tough this unless year. and I understand they ain't got, that, no, they listen, got Kyrie this year. If uh, and, he's proven like that he's going to go to the finals. It has not to be always proven. that he'll win it. The only way I am going to say that is it has to be proven that he's not going to the finals and he has to lose. Other than that, I'm going with LeBron in the finals and the Houston Rockets. All right, well, LeBron, wait, 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 hold, 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 LeBron hold, 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 2.0, Ben hold, Simmons is going to the finals. All right, look, all. Check, check it out, man. We're about to um, end this podcast right here, but I will tell y'all because I don't want to. That was quick. That was quick. I mean, because we got somebody else coming. No, no, no. Because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin for anybody, but make sure y'all go see that Avengers movie. Shit was wow. yeah, I man. Man. Y'all Avengers think I'm going to see it on amazing. Tuesday. Yeah. Everybody so, dies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I hear it. Scale of 1 to 10. People, it's, oh, it's a 10? It's a 10. Listen, 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 listen. And I'm not even I, a I real comic this. book I will, Marvel I will, guy. You're going to like it. This is but what I love I Black Panther. Now, I mean, but, 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 but the thing is, now, I mean, if you ain't a Marvel guy, you might not know all the characters. Yeah, in you ain't gonna. But I've watched. I've seen Infinity Civil War. I've been yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've been yeah, watching, yeah, if you know yeah, the characters, a there's a lot of characters. Everyone. Like they dropped a couple of people in there that you like. Wow, they yeah. pulled out the stop. Yeah, they pulled everybody. They pulled out the stop. But what I will say about that movie, the testament to that movie to me is, I went to that movie. I got off at seven o'clock that morning and went to the eight o'clock, the eight thirty showing. Right, it's a Two hour and something. Two hours like, it's, and like a, it's, it's like a three hour movie yeah. for real. Cause I got I wanted out of the movie. Five, nigga. Wow. Like, my dude, I my dude. I wanted, I wanted to keep anytime going. you in a long movie, you know eventually you be like, this shit long. Yeah, you yeah. feel yeah. it. That's every time, great. every time you felt like this is getting long, something good on the stream <laughs> happened, and it was like, yo, <laughs> yo, this is <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't go get yeah, no more this popcorn. Right here, no, nigga, like, don't, nigga. No, no. What I'm telling you is, you don't have time for that because it's action. Yeah, action. The last thing I expected to see. He was Han Solo come out and smack the Hulk in the mouth. I never expected <laughs> to see that. <laughs> That's the last I thing lie. I expected to see. I was sitting there in the movie theater, and I'm like, okay, what's next? That shit said, 
producer. Yeah. Produced yeah. by. Yeah. Artist. I'm like, what it the was fuck? over. It was over because it is because it keeps oh, yeah. you waiting until yeah. next year. Everyone oh, they set up dies. the clip. They gave you the cliff. They gave oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. Tuesday. This nigga I'm is excited. Dirty. Y'all nigga, y'all, I'm excited, man. <laughs> <You're> dirty. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. All right, man. Listen, yo. It's been another episode of Barbershop Talk, Talk like, like this. At, at Jamal Dolman. We got my boy. Yeah. Shout out again. Thanks yeah. again. At my man, Jamal Dolman. J A M A L. Hey, look, look at my man Jamal down there. There's all types of cameras in his way, man. Time, time, real quick. Follow his podcast. Yes, Dope Dealers. Me and Toby Hicks, Dope Dealer Podcast. That man. dude is funny, yeah. yo. Check us out, and we got you guys will be on our podcast soon too, man. So we, yeah, yeah, definitely, we, man. We, yeah, we, we, we had you spot. We gonna get, so we gonna get Toby rappers. on here. We did it first, so I guess you owe us one. <laughs> 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 Princess, Dope Dealer Podcast. Check and us we out, out podcast, this bitch. Man. And we out. Peace. Peace. Yeah.